You are now ready to acquire an ECG. In this section, you will learn how to connect the acquisition module and lead wires. Prepare the patient for their ECG, including properly preparing the skin, placing leads, applying electrodes, and connecting the lead wires, and acquire a standard 12-lead ECG and a rhythm strip. This is the acquisition module. One end of the cable fits into the internal connection on the front of the Mac 5500. The other end fits securely into the acquisition module. The lead labels on the acquisition module identify where each individual lead wire should be connected. You can identify each lead wire by looking at the clip connection for the wire label. Each lead wire connects to its corresponding labeled slot in the acquisition module. The clip at the end of each lead wire is attached to the appropriate electrode during the ECG. In order to reduce noise and artifact in your ECG tracings, perform good patient skin prep. For maximum quality, this is what we recommend. Shave any body hair that might interfere with electrode contact. Abrade the skin thoroughly to assure good contact with the electrode. Thoroughly cleanse the site with alcohol or a mild soap and water solution. Be sure to remove all oily residue, dead cells, and debris. Then dry the skin completely. Now you're ready to place the electrodes. This is the electrode placement for a standard 12-lead ECG. Begin by placing the right leg and left leg electrodes on the corresponding ankle and the right arm and left arm electrodes on the corresponding wrist. Then place V1 on the fourth intercostal space next to the sternum on the right side. V2 is placed in the similar rib position as V1 but on the left side of the sternum. V4 is positioned at the mid-clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. V3 is placed midway between V2 and V4. V5 is positioned at the anterior axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4. Place V6 at the mid-axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4 and V5. Let's enter the patient data. Press F1 to access the patient data screen. Enter the patient name. Type in the patient identification number or medical record number and press enter. Type either the patient age or the date of birth. This value is used to factor the patient's age into the ECG reading. Gender factors into the analysis and interpretation of the ECG reading as well. When you have finished entering patient data, press the Escape key or select Return at the bottom of the screen and press Enter. You've prepped the patient and connected the leads, so it's time to record an ECG. First, look at the hookup advisor to verify wave quality and make adjustments to your hookup if needed. If you see artifact in addition to the hookup advisor, you can press F2 to bring up the lead selection screen. Then choose lead placement to see a visual representation of the torso with lead placement. Those leads that are bad or poorly connected will flash, so you'll know which to adjust. Press F2 again and choose all leads to return to the original screen. The ECG screen flow and what you see on the patient data screen is guided by your choices you make in system setup. Your screen may be somewhat different than what you see here. Refer to your operator's manual or the clinical reference guide for further information about customization. To record the ECG, press the ECG key on the keypad or the first button on the acquisition module. When you press the ECG key, the screen will freeze, allowing you to preview the waveform before printing. At this point, you can press Continue or Cancel. Press Continue to print the report automatically and save the file. If you want to return to acquiring a new ECG and start again, press Cancel. 
On a side note, the ability to freeze the screen and preview the waveform before printing is because Preview Before Analysis in System Setup was set to Yes. Refer to your operator's manual or the clinical reference guide for a more in-depth explanation. When finished, you can choose from these options. Press F1 for Print, or the Copy key on the keypad to get another copy of your report. If you want to continue with more tests, select Same Patient to acquire another ECG for the same patient, or select Next Patient. We've selected Next Patient. Our system is set to automatically store the ECGs. If the Auto Store feature is not set in System Setup, you will need to choose Store to save the ECG before acquiring another patient. It's also very easy to acquire a rhythm strip. Simply press the Rhythm key on the keypad or the second button on the Acquisition module to begin acquiring a continuous rhythm. Default leads appear first. Specify other leads by pressing F2. Press the Stop key to stop printing. Finally, turn the system off and plug it in so it is ready for the next test.